Okay, so after talking about filter flow in depth and learning about the risks of using bi-directional filters and the pitfalls of pulling in a foreign key instead of a primary, you may be thinking to yourself, man, it is really easy to make major mistakes in Power BI. And to some extent, that's true. Without having a good fundamental knowledge of how data models and filters actually work, it certainly can be easy to make this type of mistake. But the good news is that Power BI gives us tools to help prevent this type of thing from happening. For example, hiding fields from report view. Now, in either your data view or your relationships view, you'll have this option called hide in report view. And you can simply right click on either a column, a field, a measure, or an entire table and choose this hide in report view option. And what that does is essentially make that field or table inaccessible from the report tab. It makes it invisible. So you can still access the data and see the information within the data or the relationships views, but end users in the report view will not be able to access those fields. So this is a really common way to prevent users from accidentally filtering using invalid fields, like a foreign key from a data table instead of a primary key from a lookup. So pro tip here, my recommendation in general is to hide the foreign key columns in your data tables, which will force users to filter using the primary keys from the lookups, since that's the only option they have left. So let's go ahead back to our AdventureWorks demo and work on foolproofing this model. All right, so we're back in our AdventureWorks report. We're in the relationships view looking at our model, and I want to show you how to hide some of these fields. First of all, you can select an entire table, right click the header and hide a whole table from report view, which will essentially gray it out. But we don't want to do that in this case. We need information from all of our tables, including the values or quantities from returns and sales, at least for now. But what we can do is start hiding some of these foreign keys because 99% of the time, we don't want users filtering on dates or products or customers or territories within the data table itself. You can access that same exact information using fields from the lookup tables instead. So all we need to do is hover over the field, right click, and click hide and report view. You might see it flash at you like that, that's okay. We're gonna do the same thing for stock date. There we go, it grays out, that means it's now hidden. We can keep order number in there, but let's hide product key and customer key and territory key. There we go. So all five of those foreign keys, the one that connects to customer, the two dates that connect to calendar, and the connections to territory and product are now hidden. And we'll do the same thing for returns, return date, territory key, and product key. So we haven't lost anything. You can easily right click and re-enable any of these fields. And also note that we could have done the same thing in the data tab as well. You'll see we're in our sales data now. Those columns that we did hide are now grayed out. You could also select or right click the column header and choose the hide and report view option there as well. Just two ways to do the exact same thing. So now here's the real impact. If we go to the report view here in my fields list, you'll note that my returns table only has that one lonely field and my sales table has been chopped down to just these three. So remember, hiding from report view makes them invisible or inaccessible, but only within this one view. So there you have it. That's a great way to foolproof your data model and your Power BI reports by hiding fields from report view.